How's it going boys? Welcome back to Mogul Mail. You might notice I'm in a hotel right now because I'm on vacation, a little conference that I have to go to and I brought a vlog camera, you know, just to vlog, but instead- I literally watched this much and I called him and I was like, how the fuck do you call yourself a fucking YouTuber and you can't even shoot a vlog with a normal fucking camera? Like, my man, what is this, dude? It's so gray. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, watching from the UK. Yeah, he's tuning live from the UK, bruv. This is the sunniest day in the kingdom. A kingdom where the sun used to never set. What the fuck? Okay, okay, Aiden. Aiden says, what the fuck you saying? I woke up to an absolute shitstorm from, uh-oh, Twitch headquarters. Now, yesterday, they had the greatest PR win in their entire history when they banned gambling. They had like 250,000 likes on Twitter. Uh, they were trending. Everybody was loving them. And then today, the day after their greatest PR win, they decided to take an absolute shit in front of everybody with a message from their president, Dan Clancy. Why not a message from Emmett Shear? Because I am uh, also a believer of Moist Critical's theory that he doesn't know he's working at Twitch. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge conspiracy. He's an AI <laughs> robot that they've hired to just nod his head at board meetings, but he doesn't actually work there. He's not a real human. Anyway, this is the message, uh, and it's part of the Washington Post leak that came out like a few months ago, now confirmed true. They're cutting all creators' pay. Now, it's not technically all creators' pays, the way it works right now on Twitch is that if you get a subscription and you're a normal affiliate, you just start streaming, you get 50% of that money. But for almost every major streamer that you want to name right now that you can think of, they get a higher percent split. 70% of the revenue, 30% goes to Twitch. It's the same revenue split, by the way, that YouTube has for memberships. So it's not that weird to have a 70-30 split. Now, it's not all creators. You know, there's some really big creators like, like my friend Atrioc and, and Stance, for example, who don't have this because they kind of stopped giving it out. And there was a sneaking suspicion the reason they stopped giving it out is because they were going to get rid of it entirely, which is what Twitch just did. They just announced... Notice how I didn't say my friends Hassan because we're not friends. We're enemies. Okay. That's right. That's my declaration. He didn't say my friends stands Atrioc and Hassan because we're not friends. We are enemies. Okay. That they're removing the 70 30 split. Now let's not be mistaken. Most creators are on the 50 50 split. However, pretty much all the viewership, right? All the creators that have about 90% of the viewership are on the 70-30 split. And this is gonna impact all of them. It's like a 28% pay cut going from 70% down to- Like I just, at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I just want Tish to do better just so I can gloat to Ludwig. Like that just one, give me one fucking dub, man. Every goddamn day I tune in and the platform's like, yeah, now, if you want to fucking stream on Twitch, we're just going to have to whip you in the back, okay? We have a guy that we hired who's going to come to your house and he's going to slap your face every hour, okay? You just have to do that. Well, there's nothing else you can do about it because what are you going to do? Are you going to stream on another platform? Fuck you. I just want one fucking day. One day where I can turn around and be like, fuck you, Ludwig. How does that feel, man? Huh? I know you got the bag at YouTube. And I know you got like sweet lack of hours, okay, in comparison to mine. But just like just for one fucking day, the Gamba dub was so sweet. It was so sweet, even though YouTube already has like some uh safeguards for promoting gambling. But it was so sweet. I had like I didn't even have a, a moment. I didn't have a fucking moment to just experience it because we were involved in some other shit going on at the time. It fucking sucks, man. 50%. I don't, I don't know the math. Someone told me that once and I'm just repeating that number, which is a big deal. It's a big deal. And they're kind of trying to Trojan horse it. They're trying to softball the initial launch of this. 
by saying we'll keep the 70-30 split for everyone who had it for the first $100,000. That way you can still pay your bills. But after that, Twitch gets the rest. Why did they do this? What was their what was their big reason that they needed the extra money? Well, they had three. One, it is unfair that some people get 70-30 splits and some others don't get 70-30 splits. To which my solution is give everyone 70-30 splits, but fair enough. The next problem is that they need money really, really bad. <laughs> They went really in depth in the article on how it costs X amount of dollars using Amazon Web Services to pay for a 100 viewer streamer to be live and that it doesn't make economic sense to give them a 70% split because they're basically losing money just so you guys can stream on their website. To which I say bullshit, absolute bullshit. They gave like the, the regular market rates for Amazon Web Services as if they don't have a better rate. All right, you, you can't you can't call up Daddy Bezos for just a slightly better rate for for the little teats that Twitch likes to suck upon, and also that's not your issue. That's not the issue with money. I mean, there's two major issues, and and this is now confirming my suspicion. The first one, Twitch is a very bloated company, an incredibly incredibly bloated company that has way too much overhead for not nearly enough output. I cannot on the top of my head name five products in the past years that, uh, that, that have come out that have really changed Twitch for the better. But they have hundreds of engineers. So there's not a lot of sense to be made there. I think they have too many higher ups. Uh, and then the second thing, and this is, this is I, I think going to be a problem three years down the road, Twitch Prime. I mean, Twitch Prime yeah. is just a subsidy that Amazon pays out of their pocket to Twitch and to its streamers for free, basically. Uh, and it just enhances all of the, the paychecks of every streamer on the platform. It's an amazing product. It's an amazing product. And it's why Twitch will stay the top dog over YouTube because you just make more money. People can literally give you free money with their little Amazon vouchers from having Amazon Prime. I think it's gonna go away. I, I think this is the start of the of the change of Twitch. There's been internal pressures for probably years now to become more profitable, or actually just become profitable at all and stop hemorrhaging money. Uh, and and this is the first domino that has fallen down is is slashing creators' pace. But it never makes sense to me to go for your golden goose that's making your money, AKA the streamers. Right? Those are the people who are who are literally making you money. It makes way more sense to try to, you know, slim down your overhead and maybe come up with new business strategies that are more sustainable and uh-oh, have a sales team that's able to keep everything up and running. Because here's the thing, their whole argument was predicated on the fact that it costs a lot to run streams. Great. You don't even have as high quality streams as YouTube. Now, YouTube, to be clear, worst streaming platform right now. I won't just, I gotta say that, all right? Don't tell my partner manager, Jeffrey, but it's true, it's true. Having said that, it's worse because of the things that are not the actual streaming service. YouTube has like a three times higher bit rate that it allows than Twitch. Twitch barely allows you to have a high quality 1080p stream. Not to mention that they throttle lower uh, tier streamers. They throttle, they throttle smaller streamers uh, in, in high traffic hours and prevent them from being able to scale down their stream so that people with worse internet can watch them. But YouTube obviously does not do that. You, you, they have a higher bit rate. They have a way better player that you can scroll through. So just it blows my mind that 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 is the reason they need twenty eight percent more dollars from XQCs, Hassans, uh, all those streamers, uh, rather than you know uh, not fucking with the golden goose that pays their big bucks. This also is a PR nightmare because it comes the day after YouTube just had like a home run announcement where they announced they're actually monetized. Fuck, I was literally not paying attention. What did he say? My mind that 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 is the reason they need 28% more dollars from XQCs, Hassans, uh, all those. This motherfucker only mentions me when it comes down to how much money I'm making, dude. We're enemies. It's fine. We are. We aren't friends. That's why he didn't say my friend. That's why he should have probably stated my enemy Hassan. Okay, because it's true. Also, uh, don't you know? Hold me to this, but he's supposed to be on. Check my logs. Don't want to spam zero timeout, gang, bro. You were about to get timed out. 
pay money Wubby as a chat as an idea, collective action down the road. Let me guess, a strike for streamers? I know, you have to unionize first. <clears throat> Let's finish this. Streamers, uh, rather than, you know, uh, not fucking with the golden goose that pays their big bucks. This also is a PR nightmare because it comes the day after YouTube just had like a home run announcement where they announced they're actually monetizing shorts. Now I briefly talked about it yesterday, but it's a big deal, right? Like the that's the one thing I don't understand about Lud. Why is he so weird when it comes to you? Just genuinely curious. I'm joking, man. Um, the only, he, he doesn't bring me up because he is very risk averse and he probably thinks I'm controversial to bring up or something. But there is no, there is no uh, love lost. It's just, I'm joking. The way that YouTube shorts, uh, TikTok, and Instagram reels worked in the past was that there was a set creator fund that the company gave, and then the creators would have to disperse that amongst all of the people who are making videos. But the problem is, all those platforms are also growing, so the amount of videos, the amount of views that the platform would receive would increase, but the pay would not, because the creator fund is what it was set at when it was originally created, like $10 million for YouTube or whatever it was for TikTok. But now, YouTube has announced that it's a, a, a percent cut. They're going to basically throw in ads in between shorts, and then you will get some of the money from those ads in a percentage format, which I think is way, way better, way more sustainable, and should make creators more excited about making shorts. Now, the, sh the split's a little bad. I don't love the split. It's 45% for the creator, 55% for YouTube. I think the logic was something like, we also have to build a platform and deal with music licensing and, and all that great stuff, which, which fine, but it also just breaks the precedent that they set with their normal ad rates. Like if you post a video like this, I get 55% of the revenue from the, the ads sold on it and YouTube gets 45. So it, it just sucks to break precedent. Having said that, it's all kind of made up numbers. I kind of realize that. They just make it up. They could have said 47%, they could have said 50%, and we would just kind of have to go along with it because the platform is the big daddy and we are just the small children suckers. He recognizes that, and that is the truth. Cling on teats. I, I have a teat thing today. I don't know where that's coming from. I'll, I'll stop that for next time. Anyway, uh, that's that's about it, boys. Uh, the shorts, the shorts fund, uh, and the shorts breakdown going to be huge for all the shorts creators uh, and and Twitch. Twitch, come on, come on. Just just at least the, delay the announcement. Am I crazy? You're the greatest PR win of all time yesterday. YouTube announced like a really good monetization thing. Just like wait a month. They're not even enacting their 70 30 to 50 50 split until June 2023. Did you really have to announce it on September 21st? Probably not. Anyway, more shitstorm on Twitch. Um, and, and hopefully it all goes back to normal tomorrow. Hopefully. What the fuck is his color grading? Bro, YouTube doesn't pay him enough. You know, he doesn't. Yeah. When he said one take, when he said, well, I'm a one take Jake, he meant like literally. He doesn't even care about the fucking filter, bro. Oh, fuck. This was a great opportunity for me to go. What do you mean? It's actually perfectly colored in. You could be colorblind. Wait. You guys don't see all the color? Holy shit, is this the first time you're recognizing that you're colorblind? Except there's so many other colors on the screen, so it doesn't work that way. Anyway.